In this video, I want to show you guys a real quick and easy way where you can test the development chemicals for your black and white film. What's up guys? Welcome to Film is More Fun, where film is... More fun. So, this is the birthday edition of Film is More Fun. That's right, on the big 4-0 today. And if you're wondering, do I feel any different? Not really. The only difference that I see between now and maybe my 30s or even my 20s is I'm, I'm getting a couple little gray stubbles coming out here and there. But that's okay. You know, soon enough I'll be like one of those silver foxes. So for anybody who's followed the channel for a little while now, uh, you guys know that I've recently moved. And in that move, I packed up all my development chemicals, all my darkroom stuff. And basically they just sat in a box for like over a year. Until recently, pretty much everybody has gained a whole bunch of extra time now uh, through unfortunate circumstances. So I've had some time to kind of, you know, crack those boxes open and take a look. And let me tell you, when you set chemicals that have already been mixed and they've been kind of sitting for a year, it's not pretty, man. I pulled the fixer out and it, it looked like this swamp greeny mung kind of, it was a little gross. But, uh, you know, anyway, I thought, hey, waste not, want not. And I want to try and see if these things still work. So I shot a couple rolls, and while I was developing, I posted on Instagram, and I said, hey, I hope this stuff works, right? And I had a couple friends that chimed in, and they said, you do know that you can, like, test your chemicals. Oh, okay. Uh, well, anyway, I went ahead and, and did that, and everything, you know, came out good. The, the chemicals did show that they were good, so I went on, and I continued to develop. But it, it's just so funny, because for years, I'd been developing, uh, and... I didn't even think to do that, you know, so uh, sometimes the obvious isn't so obvious. And to test these, it's actually super easy. Just get some fixer and some developer mixed up. And for the developer, you know, both of these, you can just cut a liter off of uh, a new roll of film. And you just want to drop it in the developer, give it a couple minutes. If the developer isn't exhausted, it'll go to like 100% black. You know, it'll darken up, you'll see that, okay, it is developing. And with your fixer, now beforehand, you can kind of look at the leader and you see it's, it's opaque. You can't really see through it. You drop that in your fixer and then after a couple minutes, and it's a good idea to time it too, uh, but after a couple minutes, you'll notice that it'll get clear or transparent and you can actually see through it. And you know, that'll tell you, hey, your fixture's good to go. I would add maybe 30 seconds just to make sure that you're good to go. And I gotta say, I was super surprised that after a year of storage, the stuff is still working. And that's not to say that everything's hunky-dory and, you know, I came away scot-free because I didn't. I got some photos, but, you know, they, they came away a little scarred. It had some boogies or some spots or I, I'm still kind of actually trying to figure out what went wrong. Now, I, you know, I don't know whether it's due to the old chemicals or now I did get a little bit kind of lax on some of the temperatures. The development temperature was good. Uh, the wash temperature was good, but the, the fixer temp and the, the final wash, not so much. I don't know if that had something to do with it. Uh, also, this is new water. I, I had uh, in my dark room, I had, you know, nice distilled water and I use city water here. So, you know, again, all this is coming into play and uh, I'm going to try to work that out. That pretty much wraps it up for this, guys. Uh, if you have any idea what went wrong in this development process, you know, please, by all means, shoot me a DM over at Instagram. Drop a comment below. Um, I love to find out because um, I did pick up new developer and fixer, so that's going to kind of be out of the equation. You know, hit me up if you have any ideas, and uh, I hope everybody's staying well and safe. And uh, until next time, we'll see you.